Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 91 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Uh, where last episode we were kind of tweaking a few things here and or there. Uh, this episode, I'm going to balance this out a little bit, because... That was a really fast broke. Ugh, wasted mana again. Was not prepared. Bad Direwolf. Should probably make sure that there's mana in that thing, but anyway. Anyway! Doesn't matter where this one goes. Uh, the other one, it does matter where it goes. Get you a little bit of mana. I should go fill up this tablet now. Um, last episode, we were working towards automating the blood altar in as efficient and fun a way as possible. Like, that's kind of the rough plan of what I wanted to do. Maybe I could... Uh, that's right, the magnet, the Fluxo magnet, does it still not have... Yeah, it doesn't really have much by way of a... Cool and awesome filter. Not yet, at least. I don't know if that's a planned feature not implemented yet or what the deal is, but there's no filter on those at this point. There used to be. There used to be, but not yet. Um, so anyway, just get a little bit of stuff in there and that should be good enough. Cool. Uh, let's get our chest back here. Let's make sure that this guy is configured polar module. So he used to be bound there. We're just going to rebind him there. And that looks cool. So now if I were to put stone in there, you're back to working exactly the way. Yes, perfect. Cool. So last episode, we got this relatively automated, right? If there's enough LP in the altar, it will take a piece of stone out of this chest or out of the buffer that exists here and just dump one piece of stone into the altar. And then if there's a redstone signal on either this guy or this guy, it will extract the item, either a reinforced or a blank slate. What we want to do today is apply a redstone signal to the item routers based on if there's enough uh, blank slates or reinforced slates inside this chest. Does that sound like a fun time? I think so. So let's start with 10. So what I'm going to do is get ready with my portable logic guy. I'm going to make an integer that's just the number 10. So that should be as simple as doing that. Boom, we've got the integer 10. So that's an easy start, right? Uh, that's that's pretty cool. Um, you don't need to exist no mores. So you can go home. Uh, you don't need to exist anymore either, so that's fine. And we're ready to go with that. I'm gonna keep you in here for a minute because we're gonna need him a minute, but not yet. So what I wanna do is take the inventory reader. Um, inventory count 12, slots filled, fill ratio, reinforced slate, items, ha ha. Aha! That's cool. Get a list of the items in the inventory. Yeah, that's what we want. So we totally want to get that list of items. So give me that list of items. Okay. Um, and that should be good. So this is a full list of all the items in the inventory. Reinforced slate and blank slate. Um, so let's see if we can parse out how many of each item is in there. Does that sound cool? That sounds cool. All right. Um, so what I'd love to be able to do is measure how many blank slates are in the inventory and get the integer value of that. So let me figure out how to do that. So it's possible this count thing can do it. I'm not 100% sure, but we input a list and then we input anything and it'll output an integer. So this might work. This might work. So what I'm going to do is get an item, reinforce slate, Okay, so here's the list of all the items in the inventory. This is a reinforced slate. So now if I were to do count, item list count, list item integer. Ooh, that looks even better. That looks even better. So I do variable card list, variable card item, and that. And then in theory, this will tell me, if I put these guys in here, how many, four. Four, ah, ah, ah. And if I put a fifth reinforced slate in there, it's five. Ah, ah, ah. Got it. Beautiful. Love it. Cool. All right. So now what we want to get is a blank slate. We want to put that on an item card. Okay. So what we're doing is we're using... So there's a lot of things here we can do. Look at all the different things you can do. All the comparisons you can do. There's a lot. There's a lot. Okay, we only scratched the very small bit of the surface of integrated dynamics. I told you it was a complex mod. I also told you you could do a ridiculous number of things. 
If you can't figure out how to automate it, you can probably automate it with integrated dynamics. Probably. Okay. That said, you have to know what you're looking for and you have to get deep into it a little bit, right? But the gist here, right, is we were looking for the count of something. It looks like there's an item list count thing. Get the total item count of exactly the given item in a list. That's pretty cool. The number of times the given element is found in the list. This would probably always spit out one if I, if I were to use that item count one. But this is like a nice shortcut to getting what we want, right? So we're gonna do variable card here. This is going to be the blank slate and this integer value is going to give us the amount um, on a blank slate and that is super cool beans. Cool, so there's five of the reinforced slates and we should see seven of the blank slates. Cool, now in integrated dynamics, there is a Labeler. There is a labeler, which might make some semblance of sense to use here. Um, so let's make sure we know what we're labeling. So this is seven. So this is blank slates, right? So we'll say blank slate count. So this is blank slate count, right? Seven. Yes. Blank slate count. Cool. And this will be reinforced slate count. Sweet. That's cool. All right. So now we know blank slate count is seven. We know reinforced slate count is five. And remember before we had the variable card 10. So what we're going to say, okay, is we're going to do now, I think if I have this in my inventory or something, something, it can do something. But let's do like we did before with the fluid tank thing. We're going to just do a greater than or equal to. Or now we're going to actually do less than or equal to, right? So what we're going to say is if the blank slate count is less than or equal to 10, which should just be this, okay, um, then you... Okay. Now I think if like the labeler is in your offhand, you can do something like that. Right? But that's here. So you're going to be blank slate check. Okay. And then we're going to do similarly, we're going to do less than or equal to. So if we're going to say if reinforced slate count is less than or equal to 10 reinforced slate check right okay now is there something like if this is in your offhand you can something or other this hey yeah there you go that's cool does it have to be in your offhand for that to work? No, it does. It looks like it can be anywhere in your inventory. And then you can edit the name of the variable card right on there. So that's neat, right? So now we have a Boolean output. If it's less than or equal to 10, so I'm going to put all these guys in here. It's true, right? So now this is the blank slate check. So we're going to want two redstone writers. One here and one here. Uh, with some cabling. Okay, cool. Uh, and then you're going to emit a redstone signal, blank slate check. You're going to emit a redstone signal, reinforced slate check. Okay, now here's the other deal. I want to combine all these checks. Um, now I think I can copy them. Can I copy them? Is that true? If I do this... Yes, blank slate check, blank slate check. How cool is that? That's how you can copy cards, by the way. So you're gonna go in here for your redstone signal, and then I have another one ready to do um, something else. And so you're going to be reinforced slate check. Reinforced slate check is gonna go in here.
Did you not copy your name? I guess you don't. I guess you don't. That's fine. That's okay. I guess he doesn't copy his name. That's okay. Okay. So blank slate check, reinforce slate check. And then this we will label to be LP greater than 3K. Cool. So what I do now want is this is whether or not we've got 3,000 or more in the in the tank. I might change that to like 5,000 or something later on, but we'll all get there when we get there. Okay. This is checking for if we have if we need reinforced slates. This is checking for if we need blank slates. So technically, we want all we want this to be true and this or this to be true before we move stone into the chest, into the altar, right? Because if, if, if we don't need either of these, then we don't want to move stone into the altar. So we should have an or conditional on these. We want to say if we need blank slates or we need reinforced slates, those two together, and we have enough LP, then move stone into the altar. Okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to go down here and find or. It's a logical or. So it's just these two, reinforced slate check, and blank slate check is going to be this. Need slates. Boom. Need slates. Okay. And then we're going to do an and check, and it's LP greater than 3K, and we need slates is going to be move stone. Cool. Cool. Now we're gonna have to tweak this relatively. A bit of tweaking is gonna be needed here in order to add a third stone type, but that's okay. Okay, so into my variable store, we'll go all my Boolean variables, and over here, we'll go this guy. So currently he's false because either our LP is less than 3K or we don't need slates anymore. Okay. Um, this is true and this is true. So we definitely need more slates for both types. For both types. Okay. So watch what's going to happen now. I'm going to activate my redstone signal and we're going to be ready with our dagger of sacrifice. And what's going to happen is um, as we do the thing, he moves stone in because we met the conditional of not only do we need slates, but we also need or we also have enough LP for that. Now, he moved this in here because the blank slate is less than or equal to 10. Cool. So this will probably give me 11, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because I did less than or equal to 10. I should have done less than 10. So it's going to give me 11. So I might change that in a minute off camera, but we'll see what happens, right? So that gave me 10. Okay. We will get one more. And now he should be satisfied. So if we check down here, this redstone signal should be false. Cool. But we still need slates because we don't yet have 11 reinforced slates. Now, if I really wanted to, I could have different numbers for these guys. So I could have like, you know, 32 blank slates and 10 reinforced slates. I could really make this as complex as I wanted to. I chose to use the same number variable for both conditionals. But I could have just as easily... What are you doing there? You're in the wrong place. Oh, thank you. I could have just as easily chosen to do, you know, 32 and 10 or something. It doesn't matter, right? Um, it would just need another number variable, and that would be a minor change. Cool? Look at that go. Sweet. And then once we hit 11 of both types of slate, it should stop putting stone into the blood altar. And I think what I'm gonna do, I kinda wanna take accelerate you, but I also kind of don't want to accidentally kill my rats, but I guess we can do it. So we're at nine. Is it is it the altar? Yeah, we only have 
I have 2947, that's why. See? Now it just. The red particle effects imply that it's working properly. So I want to make sure you guys see this working. So uh, we are currently at 2806. So one more. And now he should be running because we have enough LP. Right? And he will make one more of these reinforced slates. And then he should no longer be moving items, even if we have enough LP, because we met the other two or conditionals. We neither need, we don't need either of those two types of slates, so it won't request another piece of stone after this, even if we have more than 3,000 LP. You'll see that in a moment, if I configured this all correctly. Which I'm a little excited about, I ain't gonna lie. What's all that glittery clothing, by the way? I have no idea what that is. Is that like a man and artifice type mob? Mm -hmm. So 2827, this should bump me over 3000. Notice no stone. No stone went in there. Okay, how cool is that? Now here's the deal, you ready? You ready? You ready? Uh, let's get above four or 5000. Let's, let's just give it a few more. Yeah, 4500, that's pretty good. Let's get a little bit more, one or two more mobs. <laughs> I like that I can see the mobs on the map, so at least I have an idea of what's coming. Okay. Cool. So watch this. Watch what happens when I take one piece of blank slate out of here. Boom. Ta-da! 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 How cool is that? I love automation. It's so cool when it works. Especially when you, like, over-engineered it a little bit, and it works. Because it's like, I did the thing. It did it. It worked. How cool is that, huh? And then we still have enough LP here for another one. So if I were to yoink, it'll have no problem making another one. And it doesn't break anything if you have extra in there. It doesn't break anything if you have extra in there. Well, I guess it does if you do that, right? But this doesn't break anything, right? Um, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. I guess the best way to prevent any possible breakage would be to have the last one run all the time. So that's what I might do for the third slate, is have the last one run all the time, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know, we'll see. So, hey, that's cool. Now, a very simple thing we can do is if we so decide that we want that integer value of 10, that's this guy, this is gonna break everything, by the way. When you remove one of these, they get a big red X. They can't figure out if they should run or not. But since we're running on redstone signal, it shouldn't hurt the logic. It just won't work anymore until I fix this. But I can easily go in here and change this value uh, for integer. I can change it to 32, boom. And I don't think the variable ID changes. So when I do that, all of a sudden, it's trying to get up to 32 of each type, right? How cool is that? How cool is that? I like that. I wonder if I can modify you. Can I modify this thing? Is it easy to modify? I guess probably not. I'll just leave it for now because I'm being a little bit lazy. So we'll get 33 of each technically. Um, I should really make it less than rather than less than or equal to. I think I'll do that real fast. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do real fast. So I'm going to snag you variable card 32. I put that in the wrong spot, but it doesn't matter. Reinforce slate count, blank slate count. I should fix the naming on these guys too. So this is blank, this is reinforced. Blank slate check. Reinforced slate check. Cool. Oh, uh, it went into the reinforced slate check. Sweet. Oh, that's my dagger of sacrifice item. Cool. Um, and then what we will do is, remember I had less than or equal to? I'm just going to use less than. So if the blank slate count is less than 32, blank slate check.
cool. And if the reinforced slate count is less than 32, well, that's interesting. Reinforced slate check. Cool. And then blank slate check, reinforced slate check. You guys go in here, and everybody should be grooving. How cool is that? How cool is that? Now I just need to automate LP production, and we're super automated. Now, we will have to wait, I think, until tier four before I can do that. But what I'm gonna do is spend a little bit of time off camera, literally just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I might speed up, what I might do is come in here with my, uh, it's not in range, killing me smalls. Uh, let's clean up inventory real quick. I don't need a lot of these things at the moment. And get a bunch more speed upgrades for the things and whatnot. And we'll come back in a minute after I've gotten enough stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to click that one. Uh, you can go away. I don't think I need a lot of you. Cool. All right. Uh, let's get some. of these guys. Oh, nope, 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 one, one more of that. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm just gonna speed upgrade a bunch of this stuff, right? Yeah, I think that sounds like a good time. Now, I think in the past, you needed to have the tier one upgrade in there in order to be able to slot the tier two upgrade. I feel like that's no longer the case, right? Um, Cause I actually tried, I think off camera um, to do this and I can insert both. Like, I can't. It doesn't let me insert both. Like, check this out. If I did add-on speed tier 1, and then add-on speed tier 2, it doesn't let me in there. Efficiency, yes. Tier 2, no. Right? But then add-on speed tier 2 can go by itself. So I think that you need to have both conditional has kind of changed a little bit. So let's see if this is faster now. Asking for a friend. Please be faster. <laughs> Seems faster, right? I mean, that feels noticeably better. That feels noticeably better to me. I'm gonna call that a yes. I'm gonna say absolutely better. That is definitely better. And that's with not all of them speed upgraded. Aha! I was ready for you, creeper. That's with not all of them speed upgraded. So, I'm gonna do the rest of them. That's with not all of them speed upgraded. What did I leave off? Here? Yes. Yes. No. Okay, cool. So that would be you. Badoo. Badoo. Just curious how fast this will get with all of them speed upgraded. Now, to be fair, tick accelerating with rats would probably be a thing we could do. Uh, we could probably put the rats underneath them. But I'm not going to go that crazy. You know. Not too crazy. Alright, so for the last three here, that would be you, you, and you. Okay, perfect. And this is probably about as fast as that 5x5 five five is going to be. I don't know what metric it uses to determine whether or not it should spawn a mob on its random chance, but looks like it does, you know, I mean, that's pretty good. Definitely faster. Yeah. Definitely liking... Definitely liking this. Definitely liking this. Alright. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. 100%. Awesome sauce right there. All right, back in a few minutes when we've got all this filled up. And like magic, we've got 32 blank slates and 32 reinforced slates. Everybody behaving. How cool is that? I like it. I like it. So call me crazy, but I think we're ready to upgrade to a tier two altar now, aren't we? Da -dum -bum -bum. 
Uh, so let me pick back up my rats. I was only I was keeping only two of them over there because one potential problem is a creeper could blow up, and even though it doesn't damage blocks, it will damage other entities, aka my rats could die if a creeper blew up there. So I wanted to be a little careful about potentially losing all my rats. Uh, so you know, same. So anyway, where are we? Uh, we want twenty blank runes, right? 20 blank runes. Uh, now, the other thing I could also probably get is the tier two blood orb. The apprentice blood orb just needs a block of redstone. Do, do, do. Now that needs a little bit. No, nah, I think we do. I think we're good. I think we're good. 5,000 LP? Yeah, we can totally pull that off. We're at 7,000. Ha ha. Nice. And then um, what we want is basically 20 of you. Now he's gonna try to put stone in there and obviously can't. We're gonna have to deal with the potential of having a blood orb in here because as a as a reminder to those of you who may not know this already because they haven't played blood magic or you know this is new to them, um, you can also put bound blood orbs into a blood altar and it will absorb the LP in the altar and store it in your own personal soul network. So that's something we'll probably implement at some point in the future and we might need to handle that with this setup down here. Um, where we could we could basically invert this signal to have it pull the blood orb out or put it back in, depending on if we need to do crafting or not with, with this setup, right? Because right now, he definitely doesn't have enough LP, so that's fine, but bind that to my player. Thank you, sir. And then this should be as simple as, boom, 20 blood orbs. Nice! Nice! Uh, that is from Blood Magic, but the Sanguine Sane is not in there, so it must be in here. Sanguine. Where's my Sanguine thing? Is it in here? There it is. Aha! So, you, sir, Blood Altar, tier three. I'm gonna need four blocks of red, of glowstone, I believe, right? So, basically. I think I can visualize you, and then what, click? That's cool. That's cool. Give me some lava. Sea lanterns work now. Is that new? I can't tell if that's new. And I'm pretty sure these can be any blocks that are not air. As long as they're not air, we're cool, right, for this bit? Yeah, it's rendering bricks, but it can be really anything, and that's fine. Boop, boop. Sweet. And then for you, sir. I think they equally need to be not air, so we should be a little bit careful. But meh. I guess that one can be air. Not rendering anything. That implies it can't be. Okay. So now blank runes, and we'll get into upgraded versions of runes shortly, but for now we're just gonna do blank runes so we can get a tier three altar. Cool. Boom. And he's happy. So I guess the this guy doesn't recognize the, the different block types being not, you know, it's expecting stone bricks, but this doesn't, right? So the altar itself doesn't care. As long as it's not air, it's fine. Um, but the, the, the book here probably is going to yell at you if they're not stone bricks, which is why it said that there were eight missing blocks there. So don't worry about that effectively. And we should be fine. So that's cool beans right there, right? I think I like that. I think I like that a lot. Now, in terms of upgraded runes, right? There's a couple we can get. Rune of Sacrifice are nice. And Rune of Speed are nice for what we're doing. There's also Self-Sacrifice, Displacement, Capacity. I might want a few of them. Those are nice to have. Augmented Capacity, 
orb, acceleration, and charging. Um, so these guys, I'm, I'm going to assume that charging means it'll charge your orb faster? Uh, what it does? I don't know if it tells you. Uh, when the blood altar is not crafting nor filling a blood orb, it will siphon LP to charge an internal buffer. When next item is placed inside the blood order, it will instantaneously consume the stored charge and apply it to a crafting of the item in a one-to-one -one ratio. Well, that's cool. That's cool. That's neat. I like that. But the runes that we care about are a couple. I want to have a rune of sacrifice. What this does is you get more LP per mob killed. So right now, killing a mob does like a couple hundred LP. You can get this up to like a couple thousand LP per mob killed. Way super useful. Uh rune the speed rune makes crafting faster so it crafts more quickly right now i'm accomplishing that with rats but i'd rather not place rats down if i can avoid it so we're going to want a few of these and then rune of capacity increases the buffer of your uh thing here so that it's bigger than um 10, now interestingly and i'm pointing this out because it's important the next blood orb requires twenty five thousand lp so it's probably a good idea to get a rune of capacities in there such that you have 25,000 LP available in your altar. Whether we'll keep it that high or not remains to be seen, um, but let's get a couple of those. So for the for the rune of sacrifice, we need the reinforced slate. For the speed rune, we need a couple blank slates. So those are quick and easy. Capacity needs imbued slate, which is your tier three slate, uh, which is a good time. Uh, we will be needing to make one of those. So why don't I make one of those? Yeah, if I give you LP, you're going to start auto-crafting again. I don't have, like, a massive control lever for LP craft yes or no thing. I probably should consider adding that so that he, you know, automates. Uh... Ah, creeper. Bad creeper. Bad creeper. Is he crafting now, or are you out of stone? You know what? He might be out of stone. He might be out of stone. Is that why you're not crafting? Yep, that's why. Ha ha! Dyer figured it out. All right. Oh no. Those things. I hear you. I gotta look into Ars Magic and see if there's a way to prevent these raids from happening anymore. Because as cool as they are, they start to get on your nerves a little bit. Anyway, uh, I think that's a good wrapping up point for the episode. So how about we wrap up here. We'll come back next episode. We'll upgrade the altar to have faster uh, and better production of all the things, right? I could probably get a handful of reinforced slates at this point. So why don't I get like 10 of these uh, real fast? Because I can probably do that. Reinforced slate. Rune of Sacrifice. Yeah, these guys. So what I'll probably do... Okay, and then we will do Rune of Sacrifice, and then I'll get my Blood Orb here, ah. and then we will do this. Sweet, ten of them. Ah. And then you guys can go right back. Ah. Cool. So that'll be like a starting point. Oh, hello, friends. Ah. Ah. Hello, Plague ah. Doctor. So now, let's see how this behaves, but I think we'll get a lot more LP filling up from a single mob. Cool. Wow, that's a lot of mobs. Let's keep, let's keep Mr. Zombie Villager there. Let's get rats to speed this process up to the point where we have far less LP. Okay, so watch how much LP we get from killing just this zombie villager. 2655 becomes 3601. We got almost 1,000 LP from one mob. That's way more than we were getting before. Before we were getting a couple hundred at best. So that's upgrading your, your, your altar. For now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time uh, to upgrade this altar and maybe start looking at some um, rituals from Blood Magic that will make life... All the better. All right, guys. Take it easy.